came to the UK, realized I just had this natural ability to run and needed to be trained. I had a fantastic coach, Harry Harvey, Olympic coach, just happened to be up the road. So he trained me all the way through um, schools, uh, collegiate, uh, then onto the, 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 you know, the proper Great Britain team with the likes of Sebastian Kerr and Steve Avett, who at the time were Olympic medalists, and I was following in their foot track. But I was, I didn't know my biomechanics because biomechanics was very new then. It wasn't, it had only just come to the UK. But I was, I was fast off the bend. I was, I was tactically quite good. I had a lot of natural talent. My coach was holding me back with training, you know, because he was like, you know, your time will come. But I noticed that I was fast off the bend. And as it turned out, uh, you know, we, we run anti-clockwise on an outdoor track. I was a 1500 meter runner. Um, but the, the reason why I was fast off the bend, as it turned out, I was, I've got a longer right leg. I have a structurally um, long right leg of about eight mil. So therefore going around the bend anti-clockwise, it pushes your center of mass around the bend. Um, and I always used to have an ache in my right knee and it was probably because it was flexing more and there was other adaptations to the asymmetry. But anyway, jump forward a few years, I was um, I was developing behind some of these great athletes and you know, you're know you gonna be the next Sebastian Co type of thing. There was a lot of pressure on athletics at the time because it was a big uh, commercial sport. It was massively televised because we had all these Olympic champions in the UK. So one day I get this phone call, Sebastian Co is injured. Can you take his place? I'm like, let me just, let me think about it for a second, obviously. It, it, it took no time at all. So I did, to cut a long story short, I, I ran this race. Took, it took um, Seb's place against USA in the indoor match at Cosford. It was the only indoor track in the UK. What year was that? It was um, RAF Cosford in the UK, and it was the only indoor track we had. And uh, the track approximately was, what year? Was it, it was 1985. It was March the 9th, 1985. And the soldiers had built this indoor track. And they made it too cambered. And again, at this point, I didn't know that I had a long right leg. So there's, there's eight laps in a mile on an outdoor track, but 16 laps, sorry, 16 bends on an indoor track because it's a 200 meter track. So 16 times round, a, a, a highly cambered track up to the right with my long right leg split my pubic symphysis. So I did a lap of honor. I just ran 357 mile, broke the British record. But obviously that camber on a long right leg put so much torque and force and Newton's through the foot into the knee, into the acetabulum, um, creates a massive torsion in the pelvis and my pubic symphysis split and wiped out my career. Uh, 